Hello, everyone, and welcome to Church by the Seas Nursery Lesson Online. This is Miss Brianna. I'm one of the teachers, and it is awesome to see you all here today. Welcome. Good morning. This is Miss Susie, one of the teachers at the Nursery Church by the Sea. I am happy to be here with you once again. Everyone, let's join together and sing the welcome song. Hello, Hello everybody. everybody. So, glad, so to glad to see you. Hello, Hello everybody. everybody. So, glad so glad to see you. See you. Hello to Danilo. So glad to see you. Hello to Ariella. So glad to see you. Hello to Asai. So glad to see you. Hello to Hugh. So glad to see you. Hello to Henry, so glad to see you. Hello to Pete, so glad to see you. Hello to Leonardo, so glad to see you. Hello to Miss Susie, so glad to see you. Hello to Miss Brianna, so glad to see you. And hello to everyone else that is joining us today. This Monday, we will be celebrating Martin Luther King Jr., who was an honorable man who solved problems with peace and kindness. Let us remember him and his grace as we face our own tough times. Let us speak and let us sing to honor Martin Luther King, the gentle wisdom that made him strong with acts of peace we will carry on. And today, Miss Susie is going to lead us with our story called Samuel Hears a Voice. Yes, so let's get ready. Let's prepare our hearts, our mind, open our ears, and let's listen what God has to talk to us about today. The story says, Samuel Hears a Voice. A long time ago, there was a young boy named Samuel. Samuel lived in the sanctuary with a priest, Eli. Samuel was like a helper for Eli because Eli was old and couldn't see very well. Every day, Samuel would light the lamps in the sanctuary. Every day, Samuel would help prepare their meals. Samuel learned a lot about God from Eli. Eli was a very wise person. One night, after Samuel had helped Eli settle into his bed, he lay down on his own mat. Suddenly, Samuel heard a voice. Samuel, Samuel. Samuel quickly went to Eli's room. Here I am. Did you call me? He said to Eli. The old man coughed <coughs> and woke up. I didn't call you. I must have been, it must have been a dream. Go back to bed, he said. And so Samuel walked back to bed and climbed into his bed and tried to sleep again. But soon Samuel heard a voice again. Samuel, Samuel. Surely it was Eli this time. So Samuel marched back to Eli's room. The old priest was snoring. Here I am. I heard you call Samuel, shouted. Eli woke up. Now Eli was confused. Eli knew that he hadn't called Samuel, so he said, Samuel, I do not need you. I did not call you. Please go back to bed. Samuel did as Eli said, but this time Samuel's head had barely touched the pillow when he heard the voice again. Samuel, Samuel. Not Samuel was worried. Samuel jumped out of bed and ran quickly into Eli's room. When Samuel reached Eli's room, he found the priest already awake. Eli said nothing for a moment, and then Eli's eyes began to shine. Samuel, said Eli gently, I did not call you, but I think I know who did. If you hear the voice again, answer and say, here I am, 
God, I'm listening. What do you want me to do? Now, go back and lay down. Samuel returned to his bed and lay as quiet as a mouse, hardly breathing in case he missed the sound of God's voice. And then Samuel heard it. Samuel heard God call out his name. Samuel, Samuel. Samuel listened. And then Samuel answered. And God spoke to Samuel about things to come. Samuel will be God's messenger. This is a beautiful story. And all I can say is that we all need to pray God to help us to open our ears, the ears of our soul, of our heart, to hear when he talks to us. And that this is the end of the story. And just let's try to be like Samuel, ready to listen, ready to go wherever God wants us to go. That's right. Thank you, Miss Susie. And now everyone, let's put our little hands together for our closing prayer. Dear God, this church is a family. Help us to learn together, to worship together, to share together, to play together, to pray together, to come together, and to reach out to everyone with family love. Amen. Amen. Thank you everyone so much for joining. We can't wait to see you again in person. Have a wonderful weekend and be safe. Bye everybody. Thank you for being here every Sunday. And I just wish you a blessed week. May God be with you all. And we'll see you next Sunday. Bye-bye. Bye, Miss Brianna. Bye, Miss Susie. Bye-bye.